First, remove the dust cap from the calibration can and set it aside. You will be replacing this when we're finished with calibration. Next, ensure the regulator valve is closed and then connect the can to the regulator. This is easiest to do by holding the can in the palm of your hand and the regulator in your left hand. Apply pressure by screwing the can into the regulator. Now, connect the small end of the calibration adapter to the top of the regulator. Connect the other end of the calibration adapter onto the D-piece, just like you would a cardboard mouthpiece. Now, turn your monitor on by pressing and holding the power button for 3 seconds, then releasing. Allow your monitor to boot up to the home screen. Once on the home screen, single click to scroll down to the can of gas. Double click to select the can of gas. Connect the D piece to the monitor. Double click to select the gas icon and begin calibration. Immediately turn on the flow of gas. You may need to adjust the flow rate depending on the type of regulator you have. Some end users may find it more convenient to lay the can on its side during calibration. Allow the gas to flow and don't worry about the number you see on the screen. Calibration is complete when you've received a check mark or an X on the screen. Immediately turn off your gas. If you receive an X on the screen, restart the calibration process. If you continually receive an X, call Covita for technical support. Next, remove the D-piece. Double click to respond to the check mark. In order to prevent gas from leaching out, be sure to disassemble your calibration kit when you're finished. Unscrew your regulator from the can. You can leave the calibration adapter connected to the top of your regulator. Finally, replace the dust cap to the top of the can and store your calibration kit in its original packaging. Your calibration is now complete and you are now able to conduct a test or turn your monitor off if no further readings are necessary.